with that. Oh God, do I remember? No, I don't remember anything about numbers. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> happy holidays, whichever ones you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, I mean, I'm clearly celebrating something here. Uh, let me just turn the music a teeny tiny bit. Oh, let me turn the music down for myself, maybe. I know there are some awesome, some songs that we can actually play. I think free, but yeah, I'm 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 not gonna risk a DMCA strike again. I mean, not that I got one. I do occasionally get copyrights on YouTube because I've just uploaded a lot of old stream recordings, as I should have, um, because some of them were from 2022 still. And one was even from 2021, and those were playthroughs from my oh-so-beloved scavengers. But yeah, this time I'm using a 3D software, so you actually do have camera tracking. I do think the lip movement is not as smooth as when I use my normal non-webcam one, but we're gonna see. I'm, I'm I mean, you can see at least a lot more with this model I'm using animes this time. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure if everything is working. I mean, I can put on, I can, oh, nope, that didn't work the way it should. Damn it. I was testing it earlier. I can bring it down a bit though. So I can put some, some stuff around. Something tells me that this is, yeah, now we can flip it a bit. No. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. This is just a hide. Oh, there's the there's the Z axis. Yes, 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 yes. This is this is what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's untracking my face as well um, as the other one would have been going. But it's something. It is something. Um. Uh, woo. Okay, that was a bit. Woo. That was that was a lot. Okay, we're keeping we're keeping the hat on. I think <laughs> this is where we're keeping the hat on for a bit. Wait, but I had oh there we go. Q is a hello. God, these are so <laughs> tricky, and don't expect me to <laughs> to remember all of these. There are there are a lot of dancers because Animes has quite a good animation library, but my dumbass cannot remember any of this shit. Um. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm get, I get so confused with all of that. <laughs> but I have, I have these basics, so I can work well with that. But I think the fact that I wear glasses is messing the eye tracking up. But yeah, uh, nonetheless, should we say Happy Horrors Day? I don't know because the story more so the resurrection part of it. But again, I mean. Uh, we all know Christians steal everything. Like Saint Valentine's was stolen. Uh, from the Romans, because the original festival was Lupercalia, which is so cool because it was like a lottery system and you basically would um, draw a name. I think the women drew a name from the eligible men and uh, you then had to spend the week with that person. So kind of like, yeah, the opposite of speed dating. So, but I think it was a good idea because you spent like the whole week uh, with that one person. Sorry, I'm always looking. That's also the, the downside because I obviously have a second screen. So I keep looking over there because I need to see the chat. And later on when I open the game, because for some reason I need to, well, for obvious reasons, I need to keep this um, on my main screen so that the calibration keeps tracking correctly. Yeah, this is a whole other mess. We're going to see how that works when I'm open the game. I do still need to finish Heavy Rain, so I don't know if I'm going to first jump into Heavy Rain. I think I'm more likely, just as the stream title says, to do uh, Beacon Pines, because I was very excited about that, and it was on sale now for Christmas, and it looks super cute and super cozy. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. It's my, one of my favorite genres, which is visual novel. Um, and I think we're clearing up a mystery. I don't know how much we can customize our character. I do really hope we can make a cute fox girl like me. <laughs> but, um, and yes, uh, in, ca in case text confuse people, I obviously, I am me, myself, I'm gender fluid. But I think of the last 1.5 years, I've gone more towards feminine avatars 
Um, in this case, obviously a fox girl. I also play a Vieta in Final Fantasy XIV. But I also get my gender euphoria from playing my boy in Final Fantasy XIV, which is a male Vieta. So, um, I don't know. I think the fact that I have the options of incorporating my fluidity by just playing different characters and also we have a lot of for example trans characters non-binary characters in the game however people like to RP them um gives you so much more like it gives you some peace and quiet and uh i mean when i have a masculine day um but i still wear a dress or skirt to work no one nobody knows how would they know how would they know that i'm a man in a dress they don't so I get to just be myself. I just had my legal name recently changed. That was a lovely surprise. So I have a more neutral, well, here it would be considered a neutral name. Because um, it's based on like different influences, like in part, obviously, Morgane Le Fay, because badass bitch, queen, witch. Um, but also on Morgan Adams from Cutthroat Island with Tina Davis, which is absolutely one of my absolutely favorite characters. And also, yes, sorry if you hear the stirring. I have a coffee in front of myself. Because <laughs> I, no, I did have one. I had a coffee at the Christmas Eve uh, dinner because I visited my parents, but I'm already back. And I do love doing my streams. Well, I mean, this is when I started because... Well, it's almost, it's almost 11 p.m. here. Because um, it's only me and my parents for Christmas, so we don't really spend that much time. So either we, well, we definitely have food. Um, and then we, well, sometimes play something. I think it's more likely we always play something on 25th. We'll see if I can get me into a board game that I really like tomorrow. And yeah, we just watched uh, a movie earlier. Well, I watched some of it with them because they hadn't seen Hairspray. And then I came home and obviously decided to do the stream anniversary. Not that it means a lot. You guys know. I mostly stream for myself and my friends. Um, this is definitely not a channel that's trying to grow a community. So maybe it was overkill getting a model. But I like the luxury of not having to be in cam and not having to do the makeup or my hair and my styles. But if you still want to see streams where I was on cam, I um, uploaded a whole bunch on YouTube. Back from before I started having my chronic illness. Um, and then obviously quite a few still. I still made an attempt. Um, but I hope that will solve itself at some point. I mean chronic as in it has like a. Usually it, it would last about up to five years. Um, there was a chance we might have found out the problem. A.K.A. I have. We'll see. If I'm right I'm going to be so fucking happy. And I'm looking forward because i'm not allowed to do any sports because doing any kind of sport makes it worse and uh, as soon as this shit is over i'm so getting back into my sports it's actually been really frustrating and demotivating uh not being able to do sports i went swimming quite a bit at least but that is also just driving to the place and everything it's obviously everything is time consuming money consuming that's fine but i yeah with the cold weather and I don't like using hair dryers. I only let my hair dry, uh, air dry. It is kind of a tricky situation to not get sick every single time I go swimming. And I already had to call in sick a lot at work. So I really did not want to risk that again. So yeah, that's that. Oh God, I forgot something very crucial. Uh, hold on, because I know my friend Anna, for example, who wanted to watch, I think does know that I'm streaming because uh, I forgot to... Oh no, it did. Oh no. Well, it kind of did because I have a custom status <laughs> in Discord, so it didn't actually show. It only showed like the play button and then it didn't show that I was actually streaming. Whoops. Oh well. Actually, on that note, let me just check. I do have a Discord, but it's kind of out. Okay, no, it did it did put in the information. So, but oh, let me see our oh, usual bots. That's okay. Whew. Getting getting used to this. Wait, I'm actually gonna drop a message. Dun 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 dun. dun. 
I think she's actually, I think she's on her way home. That's what's going on. Um, you know what? I'm going to be nice. Um, and I'm going to play Heavy Rain first. And then from Heavy Rain, I'm going to switch over to Beacon Pines once she gets here. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like me drinking coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it has a rumba dance even. Oh no, it has the twerk dance. Oh no. Oh no. I have to I have to see how bad this is. Okay, yeah. That's that's okay for the twerking. Ah! <laughs> Can we stop that? Okay. Oof. Back. I I think I'm quite glad my model is not completely on screen for that. <laughs> uh... I just have a time limit because I need to go and meet some friends as well later for like a video project. But worst case, I'm going to take a break and then I'm just going to go back to streaming. <sighs> um. mm -hmm. is... Okay, I still had to install Beacon Pines. So I think it's installed now. I kicked so many games off on my computer earlier. That reminds me also, Astronia just is updating. I need to replay Astronia. I went completely off the fucking handle originally with that. Okay, wait, so go to home. God, I've played so much. To I was addicted to Point Campus and now I'm replaying Two Point Hospital. Great. As it should be. I see four guys. I see a heavy rain. So we're gonna go to the gaming one and I actually need to check what the settings on this are. Hmm? Ooh. Yeah, because now it's on lethal company again. But that's not where we're going. And stop the music and whoo, we're back in heavy rain. <sighs> Okay, because I was... Oh god, let me let me think. I was definitely... I think... This is quite a somber mood. Oh, I need to also uh, change the dock. Wait. Uh, okay, that's that. And now we're in heavy rain because it needs to set... It has mature content. Just updating it again. Okay, so that, that should be okay now. I should probably check my phone. So, oh god, let's recap. So we have the father who's looking for his son, where the game is kind of telling us that he might be responsible, like that he basically might have kidnapped his own son and trying to kill him, which still kind of seems weird because the, these murders have been happening over the last three years at quite large intervals. We have an FBI, I think, detector who has a drug problem, who uses augmented reality tools. Um, and he just let our main suspect, the dad, get out of a police uh, precinct because he believes him. Then we have the woman that we got introduced to because she had a nightmare of people having broken into her apartment. There was a lot of fighting and running around until they slit her throat, um, but then she woke up and she has been kind of tailing him now. She went to the motel where he is staying and laying low and she has basically saved his ass twice now because of injuries, because the first time I fucked up because the first test was, um, oh, I'm gonna have to pay close attention today. Uh, the first test was driving on a highway in the wrong direction and I didn't manage that because I misunderstood the control. So he was really injured from that. He has a broken rib. Um, she helped him fix that. Then on the second day, I fucking exult. But he had to go into a electric an electricity plant kind of thing. He had to go in there and they made him crawl through tunnels that were where the floor was covered in glass shots. And then he had to walk in between transmitters at the right time and the right angle and everything. Otherwise, he would have been electrocuted to death. So we got quite a lot of the letters. And I would have gone back and remedied um, my mistake with the car driving, except the last time I tried to remedy something for like a valid reason, 
I lost my whole save game because apparently I can <laughs> I cannot deal with the chapters and everything. Meanwhile, we have the private detective who um, saved a mother with a baby who tried to commit suicide and the prostitute or sex worker rather um, from very early on in the game, she showed back up and she uh, had some news. She had remembered some things. And uh, she now decided, well, kind of blackmailed him into letting her continue the investigation with him. And they went to a private party of a rich guy's son where drugs and everything was galore. And he confronted the guy in his own bedroom and he kind of said that he was the Zodiac Killer. Uh, the Origami Killer, sorry. Zodiac Killer is what it's based on. Um, so we have to quite conflicting needs because he was then the private detective who was called to a golf place by the father of said criminal youngster um and he told him to drop the case and how much he wanted for it so i don't know oh yeah and then the other test we had to do yeah we've done three because i just remembered it so the third one we've done is he had to go into a building and he had to um cut off one of his fingers or part of one of his fingers uh, and do that in front of the camera and he did so he's missing a pinky now which was the obvious choice and she got there and tried to help him get out but that is basically how he got caught because I got stuck with the controls on the window I don't know if it had at all been possible to escape whatsoever I I don't know but he's he's out <sighs> so he's probably gonna go after the fourth one now so, and that is where we're at. So, okay, we're first back to the private detective. Good, good, good. I'm keeping an eye on chat, but I should also keep an eye on my phone. Okay, Manfred's antiques. I swear to God, I'm gonna fuck something up again because I'm not gonna be able to beat uh, this. What I'm supposed to do. This music is always like. Whoa. Okay, here's both of them. So, what do we do now? Manfred? Yeah, um, okay, we're looking at clocks, typewriters, <gasps> I still need to go and get the typewriter that I have, okay, nobody's here, we're gonna have a look around, because there's a huge tendency of missing something, wow, the typewriter poster, I'm not really a fan of the cuckoo's clock. Okay, shoddy controls as per usual. Wow, that is uh, quite the wares they have here. <gasps> Aww, I love that little ballerina box. Okay. Okay, I can't go through that door. No. Yeah, it's when the switch happens, it's a bit tricky. Don't scare him. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. What? It doesn't my age either. <laughs> oh, he was married. I guess his spouse died. Yeah, no. Very sweet. That's not what we're here, though. The poor man. A bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Huh? I didn't. What's he working on? Could do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to 
call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. And I was snooping. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Ooh, with that many clocks, I'm quite nervous. Uh, I'm just... Why would we need something from him? I feel like there's something I'm supposed to find, maybe? Hmm, but nothing's coming up. Okay, nope. Nope, apparently not. <sighs> Two old friends. I never know when I have to let go. Letter? Can I ask about a letter? Letter? Wait, what was that about a letter? I love these. My gran had one of these. I just don't know what happened of it, with it. I wish she'd left me that. Damn. to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address. Oh yeah. That's what it was. Right. That's why we're here. I think I hope she doesn't break it in the meantime. Okay. Because that was from a drawer in the Suicidal Moms trailer. Actually, if you dust it off, there might be fingerprints. Is it rare? Yeah. No, no, that's very common. I'd say many folks have one gathering or in their cellar. You keep a record of all your clients? Yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. Wow. Wow, I thought not in a hurry. I have a list of all the clients who never bought a royal five or had one repaired. Perfect. Delighted to help. Wow. Two minutes, and I'll be right back with the mate. I have a feeling I should follow him because I'm worried he's gonna stumble. Yeah, I mean, how many shops are there with typewriters? Don't like this music. <laughs> Something bad's always happening when this comes up. Lady, no, no, please don't break it. Please don't break it. Something's going down. So what was that drop? Something, something's not right. Feeling that clock sound was bad. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police call will be yeah. in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god. 
and the list is gone. Through the window. Uh, the, the fingerprints. How would they even know? Killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Yeah. We've time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Do we leave the same way? <sighs> I knew, I knew the clock sound was something bad. Ah, uh, great. <sighs> okay. Where? Okay. Oh, W. Have to be fast. We didn't touch the bottle, though. We didn't touch any of that. But she definitely touched the box. And we touched the phone. He didn't touch the bottle. I know that for a fact. Ah shit, I'm gonna have to take the other shot class because I don't know which one was his. I thought it was that one, but I don't think it is. Ah, that's a bottle for good measure. What about the door? I think that was everything. Oh, the phone? Because she just touched the phone. And he touched the window. No, 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 no. The window, the window. And him. You checked his pulse. Okay, apparently I can't do anything there. Pretty sure, yeah. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding I should have gotten everything. Except that door handle. Oh no, she took the fucking box. <sighs> Woman, why you do this to me? I just saved your ass and you do this to me. So, oh. You claim the victim was killed while you were in this shop. So, yes, you went to get something in his office. A few minutes later I went in to <sighs> What did I miss? Oh wait, were you fucked either way because she took the box? What did I miss? I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. <sighs> so whose fault was that? Was it mine or was it hers? Of course it's an asshole. Oh my god, hi Dolan! <laughs> 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 
Well, there's some of ADHD and mm, sprinkle of autism myself. <laughs> How have you been? Mm. But yeah, no, actually I was going to play another game, but the friend who absolutely wants to see the game, she's still on her way home. So I'm stalling. God, he's such an ass. Also, now I'm really. I thought I got everything. I'm taking you home. You're getting way too big. Well, especially if I was stealing something. <laughs> the deal was you not stealing something. This isn't a game, Lord. Manson was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was 10 feet away for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting back. <sighs> oh, ah, oh, come on. Let's go with that. Shouldn't you be celebrating as well? Uh, yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Almost missed those because my hand wasn't even on the mouse. Jesus. But she's very likely on the wrong fucking track. And I don't think it's our it's criminal boss. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect you. I mean, who wouldn't, really? Uh, go get her. I wasn't sure if that was for the door. Laura. Isn't she already gone? Oh no, she's still standing there. Not the safest place. Caress is very forward. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Okay. We found the non creepy way. With the fingerprints, though, I thought I got everything. Uh, oh God, yeah, I think this time he is supposed to kill someone. Oh, this is going to go bad. Bad feeling. Ew, I got the shotgun. Wow, fucking hell. Damn, why the guitar out of all the things? Nope. 
Ugh! I hate these so much. He's the junkie out of us. Holy, come on, no way. He has to reload that thing. Oh. There's no way he can reload it that fast. Well. Yeah, he has kids. What am I impressing for? Okay. Dude, you just destroyed your own fucking home. Convenient. I guess he has weekend custody or something. No fucking way he's going to do that. Even though dude was really coming after him with the shotgun. Yeah, fuck no, we're not doing that. Ah uh ah, -uh. the shark. Do not kill the drug dealer. I'm not. Of course I wouldn't. There's a difference between things. Sean would do to himself and what he would do to other people. This is a fucking way he would kill not a father. <sighs> but that means we lost more letters. Fuck. Dad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. I have no idea where the fuck she is. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. Not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Mm. Yeah, I really don't think it's much of anything. Okay. I could have gone around. I saw that too late. Hi. I was told that you could get Vitrofen. Was that a prescription? Whatever that is. your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say? Please come in. <laughs> People are so easy. <sighs> well, in the States, all you need is a doctor's pad, prescription pad. That jacket is nice, though. So, you're looking for Vitropin, my dear? Why does he talk like a priest? Order. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. Oh, creepy. <laughs> why? Okay, I can't activate any of that while I'm... Do not fucking drink that. We're sitting here. Oh. Um. Evade. Can you get other 
<laughs> Get it. I'm not for sale. Yikes. Yuck. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. We're all poked up. So I know who has them. <laughs> the glasses are just the same fullness. <laughs> um Yeah, sure I am. Nope, that's a bad idea. Oh fuck, that's a bad idea. Shit. I wasn't going to, I thought I still had another option. Oh well. Because I knew I had put something in it. Oh, that's bad. Kidneys? Oh, this is what it is. I'm trying to get off. I think I can scream as much as I like. That's not going to do anything. That's useless. Um, she's fucked, yeah. Man, why, why are we in hostel now? There's nothing that's gonna prevent this. Oh! Come on, these are shoddy knots. We can get out of these. Come on. You've got to be able to get out of one of them. Take it. Uh. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Uh, and that's holy shit. How much? Oof. Oof. Fuck. Oh. Jesus. Oof. Why is so much fighting? Oh. Ow. Yeah, no, the crawl technique. Come on, you can hit him harder with that shovel. Ay, ay, ay. I think we would have ended up down here one way or another. 
why the fucking wrong? Whoa. Look, if she kills him, it's fine by me. What? Oh! Ew! Gross. Just what the doctor prescribed for Christmas. <sighs> he definitely didn't deserve any better. Welcome to hostel in heavy rain. I mean, sure, now we have time. Okay. How is that a hint to anything? But okay, sure. Oh, this is so intense. I mean, Detroit become human. Queen of Robes escape from the dock. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here comes the next drug addict. Look at this. He he's, he's he has no lead at all. The the one thing we do have that speaks for I don't know how I can trigger it. Sean potentially being the killer is they went to his therapist, and that one asshole beat him up until he would say that he has had weird dreams and holding origami figures and stuff. The fuck are we doing? Why are we here? Hmm. That's um. Uh, that's that's a decision to not take a gun. Considering how much he's been fucked up already. We're probably here to go in, but I just want to see if I can talk to whoever's working here. Can you stop that thing? He's asking. It's not how talking works, but yeah, sure. Something tells me he's gonna get his smacked in the face with that thing. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 82. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. Hmm. I got a real bad memory for things. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Yeah, you're not doing this. Well, I have a bad feeling about this. Sure, if you won't tell me. Ah, uh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is so bad. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Hmm. 
Can I not go in? Okay, but there's another hint with tire tracks. Same ones, huh? Probably. Yeah. Okay, because I saw the Malibu in the name, but... Oh, here we go. No! Go back in. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Well, I guess fitting. So the dude sleeps here, okay. He's still working. Match, no match. Okay. Yeah. Not a fan of that. I don't want to look for the body yet. I really don't want to. The blood tracks lead. The acid bath. Oh fuck. Great. Why is there so much here? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, miraculously, I came through here. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Okay, so still the same. Size 13. Must be Matt Jackson. More of the tire tracks. Not the right car either. Okay. Carry coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air <gasps> the garage. Oh. That was found on the victims. There's more pollen here. A few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here. We still have pollen all the way over here as well. Yeah, I get that that's his fingerprints, but we need some more. <sighs> okay. The pollen tracks come all the way over here. The problem is I can't really turn the camera. I think we got everything. I'm trying to be very forward this time. Uh, but the acid buff is what I'm not looking forward to. Okay. There's another one. Should be the same then. Oh no. Separate and Tyron. I think I found everything, but uh, yeah, problem comes now with the acid buff. Yeah. That's an issue. Yep. One of your cop buddies is asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. He doesn't know what he's wearing. Hands on your head, kid. I ain't got time for playing around with you. I'll just get you out of sight and finish you off. 
Uh, here we go. You're going up against someone almost twice your size. Jeez, this game is literally just that. Seriously, from one fight to the next. Ugh. Duck. Ah. Fucking hell. Are we done here? Uh impress? Woo! What are you full of fucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Pays one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Woo. That was my intention, but that was okay. I'm starting to remember some things. Good. Uh-huh. I don't know nothing about this guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car and get him a new one with false plates. Pay cash. Continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Yeah. Great. This is. Anything you say can and will be. Does he have to take it now? He has to take it, otherwise, he's dead. Fuck me. He has to take it. Turn around. How would that big guy not resist? Great. So we had to take the drugs. I've gotten twice out of taking them, and this time I had no choice. <sighs> Fucking sucks. The glasses, though? He has to go and pick those up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get this whole... You've unlocked a new bonus. Because it has been up all the time. But yeah, okay, so everything seems to be, like, converging at a blue lagoon. This game is definitely more stressful than Detroit Become Human. Detroit Become Human was stressful because of moral choices. This one is definitely very stressful because of the fight scenes. Woof. Okay, they don't know about the Blue Lagoon yet. So you think the origami that makes sense. You want him spilling his guts with you. And probably got away with the list. Hmm. Which I still think it's a red herring. He's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. I build up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there. Oh, that neck flip. <laughs> Hey, what are you? That much Spanish I know, if you listen to me that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why do I have like 10 fucking possibilities? No, I have like 10 fucking possibilities to make him stand. Also, I am planning to play uh, Beacon Pines. Um, but I'm also waiting for a friend for that, so... How have you been? No, we're not walking in on her showering. Okay, um, come on, I have to mirror watch this. Well, we said eggs, so eggs it is. The oh, chicken nuggets in the back though. We got us one plate. 
Okay. And the frying pan. Okay. <laughs> I was like, are you really gonna make me break the eggs? I'm very good at breaking eggs. And number two. He got us a spatula. Oh, are we? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say like. So he's basically making an omelette. No, 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 no! Put it back down. That's not done yet. Christ Almighty. I was about to serve for some fucking raw eggs. <laughs> Alright. Don't want to burn them. How long will it just take? Question answered. Okay. Good. Salt? No? No seasoning? So there's no seasoning in this house. None whatsoever. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. <sighs> almost looks good enough to eat. Wow. How the fuck did she get that? You know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Unless you recognize one of the names. Eat? Well, let's follow. She has a very good point, though. No, it's a good assumption. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Okay. Let's go. She's good. Still in the bathrobe. Come on, it can't be that long. I found one. Please don't tell me it's Sean. <laughs> cool. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his cop and make sure he's dead? I know he doesn't make a Possibility. Ooh. Maybe else the lady over there? And somebody's digging a grave in this kind of weather. Poor guy. Don't want to piss off. Lady, but well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. Wait, what the heck? Wait, did... There's a lot of people in this graveyard, considering it is. There's my smith.
Can you turn around properly? Are these children's cries? Yeah. Shepherd. We're looking for a shepherd. Nope. And Campbell. Definitely not us, I think. Nope. What if he just talked to the killer? Well, thanks. Well, you said just a little further on, so I'm gonna start with the end row ones here. Morris. So I know it's not that one. Terry Allen. That's it, yeah. And there's an origami dog, of course. These flowers are fresh. Mm -hmm. An older brother, something? At least put it back correctly. Father, it's gotta be apparent. A sibling wouldn't be suffice. It wasn't a brother in the end, after all. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend the day outside. Well, this won't get deep. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bitch can't catch me! <sighs> And that's how accidents happen. Especially if playing at construction sites. Isn't that even specifically the car? Okay. Yeah, sometimes I don't know how it wants me to do it. <sighs> yeah, construction sites are definitely... But yeah, how, how have you been, Yoru? Are you going to stream some? My dumbass started streaming specifically about this time, two years ago. I guess it was two years ago? Could be three, and I might just not remember. <sighs> Yeah, I don't like that. Something tells me there's somebody's gonna end up impaled. No stream, it's just chilling. Okay. Do you have some time off from work at least? Well, I mean, for more than just, uh, I guess, the holidays. Uh, we... Wait, need to focus. 
probably a few days, but I guess I guess you're going back to work. Nice jump, kiddo, but. It doesn't tell me anything else. Okay, I just had to hold. <laughs> See, this is because I never know exactly what it was. Oh, I have to whole week off. That's nice. Yeah, going upstairs is where I see the problem. Yeah, one of them is going to end up impaled on something. Guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be climbing up there. Those bricks are also enormous. What the fuck? L shift. Okay. When you don't know what the hell it means. Okay. This, this. And just pressing W. Okay. It's like playing Twister with your hands every time. What the fuck? Why? <sighs> Question is, are we the one falling or is it the brother falling? So is this a vendetta against all parents? Who neglect the children? Oh no. At least that's how I knew it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm literally waiting for the moment where something's going wrong. Bringing these on me when I'm not prepared and don't even have my hand on the mouse. Ugh. Yeah. Did nobody see this happening? How the heck did a trailer even land that close to it? No, 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 I'm not good with heights. Please do this on your own. Uh, no. Uh, uh, I had to do this in the Sherlock game, which I actually still haven't finished. Uh, I hate you for this game. Okay. Uh, uh, I need to play Leaf Company someday, just so someone can pick up my dead body. <laughs> I'm. I'm I'm fine being the ship crew <laughs> uh, and just reading. Uh, oh God, wait. Okay. Whoa. Ah. <sighs> Wait, why did I have two options here? Oh, this is bad. I probably should have done the other option, but hey. Okay. Oof. Just fall. <laughs> yeah, it's about time to fucking die, right? <laughs> okay, at this point, they're more likely to get struck by lightning. One. Two, three, 
fuck this. Shit. Turn around again. He fell. Yeah, this explains a lot. Shit. Explains a lot. Fuck. Brother drowned. I put a ring to it. The boy that lived. What happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. <sighs> uh oh. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. I mean, you've been standing in the rain this whole fucking time, and you say that now? Now? Huh. <sighs> horrible story. John Shepherd drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he he could be the Oregon killer? Yeah, I mean, at this point. That sounds very obvious. <sighs> Nothing. I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'm also not gonna stick around forever. Where? No. Wait, isn't that Sean? He looks like Sean. Clothing was similar, but then again, I mean, they might not have that much thought into it. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? This view. It's not good. <gasps> no, he's going to another grave, right? Or is it that grave? Interesting. Would he be the brother? But then again, I feel like that would be too easy. <laughs> Prepare a good omelette on time. Yay. Achievement unlocked. The basic ones I managed to get. Um, but yeah, for Lethal Company, sure. Um, as you've seen, I've not done a lot in it. Um, yeah, we don't know that much about the creatures. I mean, I know a tiny bit about the one that you have to keep staring on. I've seen this reverse teleport, which can go very wrong. And oh my god, I saw like a TikTok of like people, they were, what was it? Yeah, they were stuck with the thing you have to stare at. And the one person on the ship, they were telling her to close the door, but she didn't know how to do it. So... She had to find the right combination. She first closed the wrong door. And then they, the minute was counting down until the ship was going to leave. Eventually, she thankfully found it. And they literally had, like, I think two seconds to get onto the ship before it was leaving the planet. Every, everything is as convoluted, though, as... Uh, as Detroit Metals, uh, Detroit, <laughs> Detroit Become Human, Detroit Metal City is a fucking amazing manga and anime series, I'll say that. Okay, well, who am I looking for? Well, dude just walked away, right? Can I get to him from the other side? Probably not. I mean, I can try.
Eh, it doesn't seem like it. I figured she's probably gonna come... Let me see what's going on at the same time. Okay, yeah, we got that. Well, I guess this is an old school method, but I guess we can find some girl and ask her, hey, you know DMC? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Johan Kraus the Fat will forever have a place in my heart. <laughs> I love it so much. Unfortunately, they kind of butchered what makes it great in the movie, because I think for me, the key scene is when they basically trash his apartment. <laughs> And wait, don't they get the old man who lives next to him or his landlord also fucking drunk? And there, something for him clicks during that get together because he somehow seems to, because his manager is also there, and he, there is this moment of clarity where he kind of gets what it's all about. And then he still goes back to pursuing his Swedish pop music kind of thing. Um, okay, I can't ask her, I guess. The camera wouldn't be so fucking weird, I'd appreciate it. Can I ask her to swap clothes with? No. Okay. There's a bit of a fight going on. <sighs> yeah, I feel like she would need to switch an outfit. We need to find a victim, I guess. Let's see how much I can move. We get through. Hmm. I can definitely go to the bar, but maybe that's gonna help me. Yeah. I see the one jumping around there. We see this one. I mean, I guess it's about her? Or is it the one in green? I'm not really sure what she's focusing on. Or is it the one in the leopard? Hmm. Oops. Okay, so I literally only had to come here for that. <sighs> I said, that's like the one downside, especially with the older games. I didn't think that Detroit uh, become human, it was that apparent, um, the developer's stance on women, which is, okay, I can, okay, let's go and change outfits, and then we're gonna get up and dance on that. What are you gonna do with your clutch though, babe? You need to lose the bag. You can't dance on tables and shit with a bag. Just saying. And how does she want to even... How does she want to do that now? What, are we going for a wet look? Did she bring something else? Okay, let's just let's mess with the hair. Doesn't do anything, but okay. Sure. Do we have some makeup? Uh... Yeah, with that we can work. That I can even do in a car. Well, it's a start. Obviously. 
Yeah, because the skirt would rip like that. Mm hmm. As if that wasn't noticeable. <sighs> Are we gonna go and get toilet paper to st stuff them as well? definitely tell that this was written by a man. Oh my god. Also, yes, as if any woman would ever sacrifice a fucking outfit for even for this. Nah. -uh. Oh, I hate this. Well, I guess. Such a pointless scene as well. Oh well, the f Ew. gross, so gross. Ugh. And he really only goes for the girls that are like dancing next to him. I mean, the bouncer definitely knows. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Ugh, I'm already throwing up. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, <laughs> ah. Oh my god, it's so easy to kill men. So ridiculously easy. Uh must not lose sight of the sleaze back. Are we Get through the fucking crowd already. Quite a shitty room, eh? That actually looks nice. Go in. Talk to the gun. Now get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything will be alright. Yeah, something tells me. All right. <sighs> she should know better after the doctor, but uh sure. Can you like not walk into the wall? Welcome to my little zebra. Says he like the Oh god, he really Oh god, he really likes the zebra print. <sighs> Uh-huh. Okay, katana, a boxing bag. Well, at least he didn't get cross. I don't want to choose the leaf option. Um, 
I didn't even press three. The music's so disturbing. I mean, who would get in the mood with that anyway? Ugh. Yeah, she got herself into that situation. Sadly so, because it's a fucking gun in our face. We're taking our time. What are my options here? Come on, what are my options? Attacking? Cool. Yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, of course he's... Yes! Yeah, and we only had to take off the top. Now we can talk. Okay, act two. Let's hear lover boy sing. Can we slap him? Uh, music on or off? Can I make the music louder? I was gonna go for intuition, but hey. Uh, I don't want to turn it off. I just want to make the music louder. Okay, wait, let's actually check the desk. I have our gun, okay. What the fuck does that table even say? Hard? Really? Yo. That's hella tacky. Okay. Here goes nothing. Paco, one of the buddies of Dr. Death. Better watch my step. Mm-hmm. Can you like there? Ah. Yeah, ooh. Hello, sunshine. Had a nice nap. What, you're not into BDSM? I'll kill you. Got it? What you want? Just information. I want to know why. Barb? I don't know what you're talking about. Just clocking him again with the gun. Yeah. Beast, I'm gonna kill you. Boss? Is everything all right? Good girl. Oh God.
that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear. Oh, ah. What did he look like? Jesus Christ, playing Twister here again. Literally. It can't be. <laughs> See you next time, lover boy. Have fun. I need to get the fuck out before anybody notices. She pulled a Morgan Adams, basically. I think he does too. And he's gonna need some eyes. But he's gonna go and check on his boss now. That's what I'm worried about. Let me get out of here. There might be something else going on, but yeah, I'm not risking it. Okay, but so that means Gordy's father... Well, he's kind of using him as a scapegoat then, though. As a backup. But he's not letting... Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not gonna go down that well. Come on. Take the stairs over there. Really? Oh, surprise, surprise. We know. <sighs> Hurry up. He's going to disappear from another way. Oh well, too late. Way too late. The killer is still in here. Okay. Yeah. That was kind of dumb. I would just have walked out as the killer because he seemed pretty oblivious. The height might work. Yeah, of course, the fucking katana. No! <sighs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Yep, that didn't work. I don't tend to miss a lot these days, but I still do. Uh... Okay, he just dropped the sword now. <clears throat> oh, fucking hell. What have the fish ever done to you? Get up, my oh, guy! Oh. What, you got some of his code? I 
I can't fuck. Because my mouse was not right. Ah, that was too late. Well, we were definitely not meant to catch him in this situation either way. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I mean, if they have camera. Was it ours or his? Uh, I guess this is ours. No, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Sometimes the directions are <laughs> so annoying. Okay, we're literally standing on top of something. So can you... Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. Hmm. Yeah. He was wearing gloves, so there won't be any on the katana. It is the second. Something else. I don't want to go out of the door. If this sends me out of the fucking door, I don't want it. <sighs> what was the journalist doing here? Having a good time, twisting some balls. You know the usual shit. Fucking origami killer. Mm hmm. Something on the ground, though. Oh, so this is... What is that? Put some prints on that as well, yeah. No! Oh my god, why? Why are the controls so weird? I wonder if it would be better on controller, but... Okay, I just went by the instinct because it's usually down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, I know, but I'm just collecting everything. Okay, we've looked at the fingerprints on both things. Oh, finally. Forty-five caliber. Okay, we have to check this. I don't know about the fingerprints on the music, and I can't get him to turn correctly for that. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Oh, wait, it's over there. How did this gun fucking mess that? That's his gun though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, wait, so the orchid trail. Poor Fisher, that. Yeah, I can't get. I 
I couldn't get the fingerprint on the music station, but I guess that's fine because that's probably Paco's as well. So we're gonna go and tell the guy, yo, your boss is dead. Yeah, too many controls are too similar. Well, then hopefully you speak fucking ambulance. We don't need to go back in there. He came. Well, he got what he came for. The talking is hard, brain is going hard. And the others are bound to not come here because they do know the name John Shepard, but they have no clue that that has any relation to here. Okay, okay, we have different trays and all lead to John Shepard, except John, I think, is the name of the kid that died. So how did the brother become Kramer? He's not even telling them that he's dead. Which could literally end up with him getting accused, but okay. What a weird fucking setup. I mean, I like that both went to the club. So basically, he's gonna go after medicine now. And medicine is technically going after Kramer. And the other two also going after Kramer. And what the heck is Sean doing here? Good question. Jeez, I forgot that this has so many more chapters. All I want to do is play Beacon Pines. And I do have a very brief appointment with some friends later. Um, damn it. Well, I guess I can still play Beacon Pines uh, later today. First Christmas Day is still fine for that. Right, I forgot we didn't kill the man. Why the stupid puzzles anyway? I still hate that I fucked up with the car one. Hey, Madison. Ethan, are you alright? Not really. Nope. Yeah, but your son wouldn't forgive you if he ever found out that you did kill someone. I'm not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. Oh, come on. I can't. You're still married or divorced, married, whatever. I didn't mean to. It's not this kind of game. <laughs> well, I'm in control. Not thinking straight. I'm, I'm gonna go. Also, who would be taking advantage of whom? I think it would be her taking advantage of him. I mean, he's a, he's in an emotional state of distress. I've no more business here. <sighs> he's vulnerable. So, does she have her shit? Do we have to get it first? Why was she here in the first place? But something tells me she's gonna end up getting kidnapped now or something. I think one of my cats needs my attention. No. Yo, does that mean we have to go back to the sleazy guy in the reception to hand the keys back? Oh, cool. We're running straight into the... Fuck.
damn it. What's going on? Must be in a TV show. Who is behind it? More red army still are running in through here. He registered under a false name. But I recognize this face. Uh, I think he's in two. Come on, pick up the phone. He's the cops, they're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. I got the right room. Fuck yeah, I actually remembered that well. You got the lost animal. Yeah, okay, that's not that far. Woo! Yeah, well, if you fucking let's do this again. Woo! Oh, fuck you! Why did you change it? I can't get caught again. Come on. I can't deal with this again. Well, fucking run. Oh god. Okay, okay, yeah, no, this is this is a better idea. I hadn't even considered getting up on the roof. Was that a dumb idea? Maybe. That cost time? Oh, this is so reminiscent. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, what? They're not going to shoot him? There's a fucking SWAT team. How did they not shoot him already? I have to go and save my son? No! What are you gonna do now? This is not a staircase, but... Yep. There's some tent, whatever. Jump! We can't. Run! We have to get away. There's not much time left. Seriously? Oh, ow, that must have hurt like a bitch. Sorry, seeing the taxi is gonna take too long to explain. Can he even drive with his leg in that state? How did the police not even catch up to him? I mean, fair they were on the roof, but still. You got insurance, chill. I would not sit on a street that's like that much covered in water. Ugh. Escape master on the loose. Escape the police at the motel. Okay, so I could have been caught. Whoa. Shit. Shit. It's almost at almost five. That's a good job. Yeah, at the time. Uh huh. Something the matter here? Oh, that's weird. Uh, so maybe I've checked the flooring. I'm sorry, Scott. Oh shit! You should have listened to me, Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Ah, oh, come on. He's a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. Really, do no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. What? I didn't even shoot him in his own flat, but... Ugh, fucking... Hold on. 
I s it still doesn't make s oh, great. <laughs> uh, come on, wake up. We have shit to do. Yeah, but she's dumb. <sighs> Smart in many other ways, but this was a very dumb decision. I can't. Anything else I can do? No. Come on, that is very shoddy not. Uh. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure about that. Radio? Is that what we're trying to do? I'm trying to get the burner, I guess. Yeah. Good luck with that. I feel like that would take a long time. I mean, yeah. Did he expect? <sighs> yeah, of course. We don't have much time. Well, they needed a way out. Oh, wait, what? No, that wasn't the plan. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoops. I wanted to get her out with him. Well, that's all the reason for a chapter playthrough again, but... Okay, but let's be realistic. He tried to wake her up. She wouldn't. Realistically, I don't think he would have managed to either. Fuck. <sighs> you can't win them all. This oh god, this is literally like they tried to become human because I clicked the wrong shit. I saw that there were more options, but there was so much in the moment. I thought that was the right one because I thought E was to pull on her fucking rope, not break the fucking window. I hate these traps. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, and what now? Really? Oh, come on. That's not going to do anything. Ugh. This is not going to achieve shit. Ouch. Wait, where did you get this car from? Oh, this is not gonna go well. The fuck? Now? Toot didn't even call for help. Whoa. I guess he got hit. Quite a massacre. Oof. Okay, shooting I can handle. Getting people out of cars drowning, apparently not. How many more people does he have and how many more bullets are in that gun? Oh fuck. Okay, taking two shots. The fuck kind of drop was that? Where are you guys still coming from? Stay back. Don't come near me, or I'll shoot. 
fuck is he so nervous now? <laughs> Couldn't even get the police on help me out. I don't know. Where the fuck would you? Hold the fuck up, but which one? So he killed one of the kids, but I don't remember there being one in the investigation that didn't die in rainwater. Alright, let's clock him one more once more. What about John Shepherd? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot it. I've been putting flowers on his hmm. grave. So coincidental? John had a twin brother. What happened to him? Yeah, he might know. This was a whole red herring. Look, we killed so many of his guys. You know that this is a mistake, turning your back on him. Nah, the world's better off without scum like him. What are you think? He you killed every single person in the house, except servants. Eh. No regrets on this death. Jesus Christ, this is becoming such a weird trail of bodies. But like seriously, why would you go in and just not kill the one person you came to technically kill? Also, where the fuck was Gordy? And I don't see him like the crying type. So many chapters, so much going on. Why are we here now? Also, isn't the FBI guy on her trail? Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepherd's room. How did she already put that together? <sighs> okay. Is there any fucking name? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering. Oh, great. Of course. She has Alzheimer. Great. 
And I didn't fucking listen. Something end of the corner. I'll find it. Isn't that the old lady that was at the graveyard? Okay, we're just looking at those. Okay. Blech. Very much like a hospital. Let's some charts. Nope. Okay, this one's her. There's more ways to go around. Okay. Can I go through that door? Because maybe that's what I meant. Like, nope. Okay. I guess it's not going to let me go willy nilly into rooms. Seems like I found the right one. Well, we did. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepherd, I'm, I'm never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. The other hospital is always on time. But here. A necklace. My name is Madison. We're not rude. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. I will say it's been breaking my heart to see about angel trees in Walmart. But also people doing the same thing for people in nursery homes. He's a good little boy, you know. We had a son named John. John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Should we go and get the pills? John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Oof. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. Oh. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. A pity. I'm fond of television. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepherd. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never does me. You believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? <sighs> your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? <sighs> Can you turn around? Can you pick up that origami? No? Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animal. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepherd. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Oh for fuck's sake. <sighs> No, 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 no. Go back. Okay. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. 
Okay, now go back. I'm gonna try making the dog, I guess. That's interesting. Okay, chose the wrong one, but we got a lead here, or not, come on, can I not do another one, is Max kind of the, uh, Yeah, I feel like if I go and get her some, maybe she'll remember. Yeah, these are just sons. Mrs. Shepherd, John and his brother. Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. Oh, none at all. I swear it's a necklace. How do I get my hands on it? I can check in the bathroom, but I doubt there's anything in here. Yeah, no, we're not interested in how we look at the moment. Come on. You're fine! Something lying there, but it's not. <sighs> yeah, I'm wondering if I should go and get those flowers. Oh, come on. One. Okay. Well, let's go and get the flowers or the meds or both. I mean, I didn't see the flowers for nothing. that might be triggering something. Does Mrs. Shepherd ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things though. That's all summers. documentation on Mrs. Shepherd? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. Yeah, we already figured that one out. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Don't ask me how much, but to be fair, it's usually always the last room on the left or the right. Hopefully we're not gonna kill the poor woman, I swear. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. <laughs> we used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his 
screen. I cried when I told him. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother. They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. Mm. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. Nobody told him. I thought I didn't love him anymore. <laughs> so I have that answer being shown. But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please. Fucking rocket. His name. What was his name? Come in closer. I don't think that's a good idea. So if murder runs into family. That has to be Sean. She wouldn't be so shocked unless it was Sean. Oh, come on! We did all the work and we don't get any info? God damn it. If she runs into the FBI guy... And here comes the next person, I guess. Oh man, Joel is just doing his thing at this point. The lost letters. Oh yeah, because this is, yeah, this is the last origami. Ah yes, a corridor that stretches on and on and on. Some weird frequency. Coding color red. Oh. Yeah, dude fell at least one story. Technically two stories. Plus roof. Oh, this doesn't look good. Mirrors. Does he have to poison himself? Does he have to pour acid over his own face? I have a bad feeling. He's gotten this far. Drew's not gonna hesitate. There's no hesitation in this case. It's very straightforward. In my opinion. Take the bracelet. This is such a fucked up setup. Roosevelt. Okay. The 852 is really important because also, like, even if we find the fucking street. Take the bracelet there. Yeah. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Yeah, and I mean, he still has a mom. Call this a trial after everything you put him through? Dude survived a car crash, crawling through glass shards, cutting his own finger off, almost killing someone. And you think taking a poison is gonna be like the the one thing that shocks him? I'm forgetting one thing. No, no, that was five trials, yeah. Come on! 
What do you mean? 825 Roosevelt. He's listening to his voice again. Train. Seagulls on a train. Several different addresses fit to the letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. Okay, we have a fee to Roosevelt Lane. Wait, wait, how many spots is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Franklin and Theodore are eight? Yeah. No, 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 no. So ships. Wait, it's supposed to be a ship. Because we hear seagulls. And the only one that's close to water would be here. We're going to that one. Oh yeah, he still has a taxi. Oh, hopefully I was right. Sacrifice the red, drink the poison. <laughs> you want me to leave? And, and how the fuck we didn't have... If I had had the letters from the others, I probably wouldn't have had to drink the poison, but I missed out on two out of five, and I guess it anticipates anyway that you would not kill the guy. Um, but I'm pretty sure they usually thought that you would get the car one right, which I didn't, because huh, controls, yay. But yeah, seems this is going to be a heavy rain, and Beacon Pines is tomorrow. So apologies, Anna, if you're lurking somewhere. Swear though, if you set all of that up for himself, Another that's insane. Circle. Well, he had to take your drugs as well the other day, huh? It's not helping. You smug asshole. Over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. Hi, dog! Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, it's a hangman game per se. <laughs> Happy holidays, however you're spending it with your lovely fiancé, unless you guys got married in between, then, uh, why? That's true. I'll take that as a Honestly, I don't give a shit who I go we know. Sure. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to you. Oh, I'm so sorry, dog. Oh shit, don't tell me. Oh, you fucking bastard. I didn't even have a chance to stop this. Why? Stop taking these drugs, whatever it is. It's something, something blue that is something. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's going on. Illness. Mm. Wait, who is this? That would be most unfortunate. Wait, he's he's the Ari Avatar, I guess. I hope you're having had some nice food or something though, at least. Wait, analyze the tracks. We did everything with the tracks. To find a hint. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting the killer. This is what I need, yeah. Analyze. This is the new data. Because everything else I already analyzed. Okay, that's good at least. Oh, we bowling. <laughs> that is that is some unshit shit. Wait, I need to. I'm sure there was something. Wait, I need to. Analyze it. This is kind of, yeah. Okay, wait. So rewind. What is it to analyze? I'm trying to find something. No, it's just giving me the sword. No, there's a shinken. Yeah. Oh my god, you're kidding. Yeah, because I was wondering if she recognized the name of the inspector. You're fucking kidding. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Is there anything else in it? Okay, no, it's just tell me. Is there anything else? I think it's probably always going to come back to the watch, I guess. I don't want to miss anything in it. No, I don't think so. Oh, instead of stopping, I should, probably should have done like a whole thing. Is there anything else in this video? I have no idea. I think I think that's all there was. The gun the killer left to the blue lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing this. I know if so it you would know, I guess. Uh huh. Then who? So technically, he could just go and check that. Oh yeah, the gas station. So we did get quite a lot of clues, actually. Now we've dealt with this. Looks like Heart of Light. That would explain the dead end investigation desire to frame Ethan Morris. Investigate further. Go to geoanalysis. Wait. No, not this. But this one for geoanalysis. I 
Okay. So is it like? He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, it's one of Molly's dead. Docks. That means I was right though. As a cop, did you get paid over time? So yes, always investigate further. <laughs> definitely true. Definitely true. If it's him. Okay, so Dave already spotted him. Nerd, find all clues using Ari. Okay, awesome. I got that. Get to the chopper. This is such a convoluted whole story, though. So his brother died like this, and for that reason, every few years, he kills like other kids like this and plays some fucked up origami sacrifice yourself to save your kid game. Oh my god, really? I mean, they live in a trailer back here because it, it, it has to have something to do with the father. This is the only person in the area that could possibly help. That's why he's going after the fathers. Those are the orchids they grew. I mean, the face makes sense. Wait, but nothing. Wait. What? Wait. What? I mean, it makes sense that he would know the guy who owned the shop with the typewriters, but. What? Because the private investigator is called Scott Shelby. Wait, but how? Wait, what? Is he schizophrenic? What the hell is going on? The kids really want to get the father to come steal the boys and run. Yep, yep, very good point. Wait, that would make him the killer. What the fuck is going on? Unless there's another Scott, but I'm pretty sure this is him. I mean, case in point there. He's gonna burn the picture. Do we have to? This is evidence. And that means he went to all the moms that had lost their kids. You know, they're burning shit like that in your own house. <sighs> yeah, I know he took it. The shoebox from the man at the shop. You know it's gonna go up in a fucking blaze. Yeah, he gave him the box. Why? So this is basically him covering his tracks.
I'm so confused right now. Wouldn't the phone battery explode if it overheat? Yeah, that as well. That's why he didn't want her with him. Do we really have to? I don't wanna. Is it her notebook? It was something. Yeah. That's what he swiped from Paco. Oh my god. That's Lauren's notebook. How? She didn't hear that? Oh, so that's why his fingerprints were on it. What the fuck? Wait, and then he goes and he... So basically he went after Kramer because his son had indeed copied him? Where did the flower go? Did she die? Did he kill his own mom? That That is, like, sorry, the whole flat will burn on. There's no way you can make a fire like this inside an apartment and that being safe. What the fuck? Wait, and when did she cross paths with him? Looking like a stew, yeah. No way. Also, sitting there with the fumes of all that shit? Not the healthiest, for sure. Oh, fuck. Okay, here comes the next fight. Woo! Great. I hope she brought a gun. Lady. Just go in. <gasps> Is this before he came back? Doesn't seem he's there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that anyway. I I don't know what that's supposed to be. So she's moving them. I don't know if this is moving the mouse or the mouse wheel. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. The arrow keys, I've just tried. I have no idea which keys this is. Up and down. Nope. I'm trying the arrow keys. If you have any idea what the hell that is supposed to mean, Wasp. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. Oh! It was with the... It is the movement with the mouse, it seems. I guess. But I was pressing both mouse buttons and it suddenly reacted. And I'm doing the movement, but it is not. Ah, okay, it's just with one mouse button. What the fuck? Okay. See, that's what I mean. This is crazy. Like, sometimes you have to just no fucking clue what it wants. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I mean, I do have an Xbox controller, but I started the game uh, uh, with keyboard, so I just stuck with it. But yeah, it's really bad. But also, it's an old game, so... I doubt we'll find anything in that. Yo, bro. Can I have two minutes? again? There's something in these. Oh yeah, he's asthmatic. I remember that. Any drinks? Yeah. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. There's a hidden back, yeah. I actually expect that in one of the drawers, but sure. That might be dangerous as fuck. Nobody ever looked at the blueprints, did they? Well, the typewriter... Oh god, there's so much going on in here. John? Let's try John first. Okay. Let's try origami. I doubt that though. Let's try Max. I think it's too vague. Oh my god, it is Max. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> I know, but still. One more thing here. The camera. Shit. It's about to die. When the parents came home from church, all her children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. Children had never been gone again. Yeah, okay. This is absolutely no time to stick around. Fuck. Great. So what, does he want to get adopted then? There might still be time to save Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Yeah, I mean she has a psychological edge, but that's not gonna do shit. Great. <sighs> What the fuck can she? Okay, she's gonna t check the walls. Yeah. Yep, no worries. Can you just fuck say turned? Oh, that's solid. Yeah, that's also very solid. Uh, 
Why that wall? Fuck. He's smoking her out. Go. Oh my, my cat wants it. <laughs> she can get out of there. Ah, oh, fuck. She's gonna need my help to do this. So I found that right wall like, actually quite early. Can we get up? No, 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 no. We're not going out that way. Jesus Christ, no. Get out that way. Yeah. No, because the smoke is coming out from there. really all I can do. If I open that fucking door, smoke's gonna come in. This is dumb! Oh, come on. Okay. I'm gonna get my cat in, but I need to get her out of the fire first. Come on, that's gotta be good enough. Then close the fucking window, you're giving the fire even more oxygen. <sighs> Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. That should be way too hot. She's not staying low enough. Oh shit. She's gonna die in this. She doesn't get the fuck out. Wait, where's the carpet? I can't orient myself in this fucking room. Wait, there's the kitchen. Just, will you stop with this? She has to jump. How do I keep getting stuck on this carpet? Oh, as in, it tells me I can't go that way. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, calm down. Way too high. <sighs> Okay, fucking hell, don't jump. Oh, fuck. Jeez, this is way too complicated. Welcome back. Ugh, okay, it's time to play Twister again. Fuck. I forgot what it wants. Because the door is not too far away. I would, f honestly, I would throw the fucking tank at least out the window. Fuck. That wasn't the plan, I saw the S so late. Woman, don't roll into more fucking flames. It is stop, drop and roll, but not like that. This is the kitchen. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. What are we doing in here? What's the point? I wanted to check the kitchen window. Shit. Yeah, running out of time. Gonna have to jump, worst case, but it's too high. At least get on the fucking ledge. Can't you at least climb higher? Or jump? Yeah! Oh. Okay, no, she's, she, she got into the staircase. Get the fuck out. Jesus. Time to let the cats in. Only one cat. Jesus fucking Christ. Whew. Looks like, like a ghost possessed my avatar <laughs> when I get up and come back. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. I don't even remember who's who. She can't reach him, okay. Well, your bike's fine. I didn't remember who was who. Not sure you can say she's fucking Christ in this day. Oh, come on, please. They stole the whole story from Horus. I was going to say we know that, but most people like she don't. Fuck. I didn't remember what the FBI guy is called. Clever dad. Okay, work out where Sean is held. Okay, so I did get your dress right. Am I not playing the kid that's drowning? Come on! I think what people like and hate us game. But what do I do? Uh, what? But what I do know, I played the Jesus on the Wii and got odd looks from my family as Jesus was smithing bad guys. I mean, isn't it part of the job description? Where the fuck is this gutter then now? This is a huge area still. And he's poisoned, so... Oh, thank you for the followers, and Dragon. Why does the name seem familiar? I'm so sorry if you can't chat yet, because back from when the hate raids, I kind of changed the settings, so just give it a minute. And I think then you're allowed to write... I'm so sorry. Ah! Also, this is totally not what I had planned to play today, but I also figured I should finish the game, and I'm really bad at it. I already got one person killed. Let's be honest, though, now that we know who the killer is, it was probably logical that he was gonna... Ah, come on, walk over that. You know he's there. Oh my god. Okay, I was trying to call him. Will you give him the antidote then? Ha 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 ha, villain monologue. We don't have time for this! What? Because he had jumped in front of the car to save his son. In vain. But he did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what any villain would say. Now give me back my son. Yeah, you're both standing there while he's fucking drowning. All you have to do is open that grate. Key? 
Also, he's not shouting. I see a hand. Oh, come on. He doesn't have the fucking key. How has the kid also not shouted? Find something to break the lock. Yeah, that might help. That might work. Twisting it off. Don't just fucking sit around and do it. Come on, I can't be so hot. Ah, man. Get the fucking thing open. Hitting the keyboard as hard as possible. Ah! Well, I mean, he's a bit stressed, okay? Oh my god, just fucking throw it already! Fair. The kid should have died of hypothermia already with the amount of days he's been in there in, in rainwater non-stop. <sighs> Somebody's gonna die. And it's up to me who. Ah! Really? You really went for the belt? Somebody's gonna get crunched. Why did he want to shoot him? Regardless, though. Kid survived because he used to be a lot fatter before this. Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading and fighting. Ah! Oi. Whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, great. Yeah, all the police is there, right? But who's helping? No! Oh fuck you, you gotta have to run out of shit! <laughs> Fucking hell, I hate this one! No! Oh god, fucking everyone is there. Oh n well, I mean, if they shoot Sean... Doesn't matter, he's poisoned. Distraction. Whoa! How much expensive, lady? Hey, you there. What are you doing? First she runs and then she casually walks. Where did just fucking tell him? Whoa, 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 No, 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 <laughs> no, Where's When he needs something to hit him square in the fucking head because he's taller. Ah! Uh, fucking hell. This fight is so unrealistic, I swear. People take... Managed to take so much more. No! Fuck, 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 fuck. I know CPR, but not like this! This is not the right speed, I swear. Uh huh. Yeah, you're never gonna revive him like that. <laughs> to be fair, it's also my fault, I guess, when. One. Two. Three. Uh, we're taking it should be thirty, but yeah, let's go. One. You should be taking two breaths. CPR different on kids too. Yeah, that too because you're breaking f ribs. The position is different, definitely. How much time does he have left? I swear. Hi, Wes. How are you doing? 
the usual congregation. It's very late. Um, you came at a very dramatic moment. I don't know how long that 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 time limit is. I need to revise. But then again, I get a lot of spam, so tell you sideways. No, no, I'm sideways. <laughs> you need to get the water out. I'm gonna fucking die here. <laughs> Two days later, he dies in a hospital of hypothermia. I promise. You... Yeah, I have ten minutes left. <sighs> Rearranging the lounge? Ooh! I mean, otherwise, why would he try to shoot you? <laughs> Making room for tree. Yeah, but now the police is gonna shoot him. Oh, the tragedy. Are you happier now with how you made it? Kick the guy already. Oh, come on. Ah! Well, if he's not gonna listen to her, then... How the fuck would anyone drive like this? Wait, what was the point of that anyway? <laughs> None of them went in. <laughs> Why is nobody following? Yeah, there's a lot more room now. Awesome! But the kid needs medical attention. Yeah. On that note, fight still going on out there. I mean, motives. Sure, just let him lie on the wet fucking ground still. Yeah, what about here? Is everyone spent? Oh, come on! Convenient! I don't know, the mouse movements? I guess they would be joystick movements? Oh, he's getting off. Whoa! Good. Oh, come on. That is a choice. Whoops. I was still thinking about it. I didn't actually think I was running out of time. But considering how many people he's killed... Eh. I don't care what Jesus would do. I already let him kill somebody else, so now killing him kind of... Logically doesn't wash my hands of it, but would, I'm just gonna claim it regardless. Dad killers, good killers, not like I really have any trust in the justice system in this case. Well, yeah, they're not gonna shoot him with his child in his arms. Good, good call. Okay, save the kid, heavy rain hero, four heroes, complete story of four characters' life. Haha! <laughs> ah. Why are you in the rain? Instant hand washer. <laughs> oh no! Well, maybe some older ones. Uh-huh. 
Oh yeah, because that's worth so much. Tend to make more Jesus jokes. <laughs> I want a European version of the Temple of Satan. I don't think we have a satanic temple, whatever thing, like where you get like the official card, or maybe I'm just uneducated. Yep, okay, the finger is still missing. That kid needs therapy. So what would have happened if I would have let him get beaten up in the first scene? Hmm. <laughs> well, he would just have been beaten up now. Obviously, I wouldn't want him to get beaten up. It's a shame Lauren died, but I think if she hadn't died there, he probably would have killed her himself. You gotta be kidding me. Of course, medicine. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with me. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities yeah. without the did she put all the details in, though? Were you afraid of any kind? Ha! <laughs> nice coincidence. Uh, whatever feeling, something weird's gonna come. That old lady again? The recycling, I swear. Oh, Sean is basically showing up. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Jones. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. Well, I mean, technically not necessarily her. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve You're... another adversary. <laughs> Uh huh. It's very Sherlockian. You owe me ten bucks, yeah. Well, I mean, it's people buying the books. The FBI guy, huh? The person she should have called, but eh, I mean, he still ended up being there. Dude still has a drug problem. But I guess, I think all in all, I didn't do too shabbily. Throw that shit away already. I don't even know what it is. Is it like fucking meth? There were also situations where Scott Scott's 
very good. I didn't even have to say it uh, to do it myself. Where Scott had an asthma attack. F fuck, yeah, if you could have done that. Strangely, I've seen book signings where it's $10 to go to the signing and 20 to get a copy of the book at the book sign. Wow. I've never done book signings, so... <laughs> still looks hella funny no i've never gone to well i mean here at the convention that i also worked at a few times um uh oh what's that about Are they? This is not how World of Tanks works. Notification. <laughs> yeah, I love that we probably immediately went there. We probably also made a killer out of Gordy, I'm not gonna lie. Because his dad died. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this is better than my usual, like, the program I usually use. I don't need the webcam for that one. So there is not as much head movement, but I think the lip movement and everything is a bit more s smooth. So I don't know if this is more relatable. Scott Shelby, yeah. I mean, whatever they were able to scratch out of the machine, I guess. Scrape out. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need a few palate cleansers before I play the other game from uh, the studio. <laughs> I definitely got more people killed in Detroit become human because of controller mistakes, so... I'll take the win here for the keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't kill him. I didn't even manage that dodge originally. Wait, I did manage those though. She didn't get stabbed. Yeah, this was the first. Could he have gotten killed there? I doubt it. Yeah, I never did I never did that with the bottle. We did interfere. Oh yeah, the place was horrible. I hated that so much. But again, if he had actually crawled through that many glass shards, he would have bled out. I mean, yeah, that's exactly how that went. That's how that went. Don't remember having to, anything to do. Oh, yeah, that's when we followed the guy into the meat factory. I remember. <sighs> hmm. Oh, this is perfect. Because I need to meet up with some friends in like 10, 15 minutes ish. But yeah. Solid game, considering it is rather old now, 12 years old. It's definitely a good forerunner already with a lot of the forks and... I did, it did I knew there were a shit ton of red herrings, I knew his son was a red herring. I did not piece it together as much though to come up that it was Scott Shelby. I got this game, not played it, kind of want to try and get everyone killed. <laughs> You have you have different achievements to go for now. <laughs> you have the advantage because you know the end, so you can yeah, you can totally do a playthrough of like how not to play this game. <laughs> just like fuck up every fight and just see how that goes. I think I think the first few obviously everyone survives because automatically because you still need them for the story. 
But at one point, it definitely becomes a possibility to kill everyone. There's gotta be a bad ending where Sean just fucking- Sean's son, kid, just fucking drowns. Sorry, where Sean drowns, because Ethan is the dad, Sean is the kid. Ugh, too many names. Between Norman, Ethan, and Sean, and John, and Scott. Eh. No offense to anyone who has the names, but they're all very fucking mundane. Just a. Also, yeah, Waves, I uploaded so many old Blood Hunt videos. Because <laughs> I cleaned up my recordings folder. Fuck, I have to upload this one afterwards now. Because <laughs> I'm shoving them all onto YouTube, and I'm not even like bothering too much with titles and descriptions and whatnot. I'm just making them public, shoving them in. Half the time it's copyright anything anyway, so... Which usually gets taken away after a few months, but I'm not trying to monetize them anyway. <sighs> right? I mean, yeah. Definitely do sound like whiskey names. Definitely. But yeah, because I had Detroit Become Human and I bought the newer game from the studio. Again, not a fan of the fact that the uh, developer... I only found this out after I already owned the games. Um, the developer... Because there is a court case and during the court case... He stated that all women in his games are horse and he doesn't make games for faggots. Well, sorry, not sorry, because I'm fluid, so... Don't know if, if being any one uh, letter of the Alphabet Mafia... <laughs> yeah. I don't remember exactly what it was about, but I think it was not too long ago? There are allegations against them and, uh, yeah, apparently he spouted that in the courtroom. So, yay. I mean, you can kind of see it in this game, but there was a, there was a lot of going to the toilet options um, and way too little hand washing. That was my biggest pet peeve in this fucking game, I swear. There was a lot of very unnecessary interactions, which technically would be, have been designed to build rapport, but they didn't, so... Yeah, or I hate when there's like, you have to find the specific order in which to do things. The fire scene was a bit annoying as well, but... I mean, I didn't manage it. But it basically, yeah, if she had jumped, so there you go. If she had jumped out of one of the fucking windows in the in the flaming apartment, she would have been dead. Because she literally says that. If I jump, I'll, be, I'll die. So Doc will be like, off you go. Time for a flying lesson. I have to check the clips out. Um, it's not even full clips, but if you look Ayashi Sama uh, TTV on YouTube, you can definitely find them. And I'm pretty sure you're in some of those because, I mean, we stream quite a few. I think it's like two or three, and one is like mixed with synced or still with scavengers, which I still absolutely fucking dearly miss. Can't, can't believe it's only been a year since the server sat down. I hope that with people, because people on Steam will still leave reviews for scavengers and there's again discussions because all of us are like, oh fuck, we would want that game back. Unfortunately, the Discord server is completely like on lockdown, so we can't write in it anymore, but we can still be in it and we are still in it. Make no jump. <laughs> um... Cause yeah, cause here obviously the videos get deleted, but I had them, I had migrated some from my old hard drive over. That's actually what it was. But not put in the work to upload them to YouTube, which can be a bitch, um, and annotating them and whatnot. I don't care if people watch them. I just, I just have them. I have 648 videos on my YouTube channel <laughs> from streams, and the majority is still like un, uh, it's still privated. So, I don't know. I am monetizing them. Why do I, Why am I even putting them public? Nobody knows. I wonder what happened with scavengers. Well, um, I'm, I'm flabbergasted as well with it. So, basically because it was started by five people that came predominantly from AAA games. Um, they had World on Battlefield, on Halo 5 and some other stuff. So, they were actually people with a good reputation. And the game itself was fucking fantastic, um, especially like the early betas where we had the full map. I enjoyed that the most. When they added the Fog of War, it was like, meh, we liked it already less. They added the PvE mode, which basically everyone just used later for cheating. The research for the gold weapons and everything took way too long. Um, okay, I'm going to exit the game here, though, and I'm going to go to the chatting window. 
Yes, I want to exit. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna just gonna put the music on in the background, but that might be a bit loud. Let me see. Whoosh. Okay, I think this works. For me, it's a bit loud, but okay, I've turned it down there. So, <sighs> wait, there was something, and yeah, because I figured out the Santa had. Oh yeah, all of, all of these work now. Nope, I didn't mean to do, do the sleepy one. This is the one I went. Ah, oh well. <laughs> happens um so yeah um what happened so they created a tiny studio which was called midwinter and they produced scavengers and i will say they did a really bad job with promotion um because very early on even during the beta we had like community events which were held in a completely different area of the game it was technically like a, a cut off version like we started it always with like sliding there was like a whole sliding course and then later on there was like stuff with trampolines and they could like spawn um pve enemies and whatnot they even held a concert in one of those spaces because eventually i kind of lost track of those um but that was like their research team working on that stuff and that was really cool and again it was a super nice community i've never gone in voice chat uh in a shooter game before but actually the community that was super fucking nice i got to play with yoshi and with oh god what is the other guy called I, I do follow him since then oh sorry yoshi was the top player yoshi was the absolute top player um that we had i know he came from like other games but the person i shroud i actually played with shroud who is actually also quite a big uh streamer i mean yeah quite big i just checked the name like 23.4k people are watching him at the moment playing the finals hmm i might stop by later but yeah um, but the problem is midwinter was bought up by improbable. And the thing is we had the beta for PC and people were constantly asking for the one for console and the console one, I think didn't release until like four or five months later. So they got a lot of hate from console players and console players were already fed up with waiting. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there were also, um, special modes that they technically switched on. So, for example, you would uh, drop into the game with a random weapon of any fucking grade, so you could end up with a gold weapon right from the start. And the other one was also that you would find absolutely fucking random uh, weapons in boxes, and in one of the two, I think in the first one I mentioned, if you died, obviously you respawned with a new weapon, so you lost the one you had before, and you yeah, had to make do with it or use what you found. Um, problem is, very often they didn't switch it on, at the time that it was predicted to work, um, there was more than one instance where I literally messaged them on Instagram. It was like, hey, like, is this mode happening today or not? Because we kind of planned streams around that. Um, and sometimes, yeah, they started one hour later, or it just didn't happen at all. And generally, their social media presence was really not that great. I don't know who was in charge of it. No hate to them, but they just weren't doing a great job. They were probably overwhelmed because they had to run all the different accounts. That was probably just one fucking single person. And uh, they, they just couldn't keep up with all of that. Um, I need to look into what hats can be worn for all the holidays, all this time of year. Yeah, I mean, I just I was just playing around earlier because I haven't used animes. I used to own face rig. Which is also annoying. I had like a face rig sub technically for all of their stuff until the rest of my life because of Kickstarter. And it's a shame because that didn't at least uh, like migrate over to this. Um, they could at least have like given us animes access and whatnot uh, in exchange. But yeah, that's that's what it is. Um, but yeah, so that kind of killed it. And then I think it was, was it last year? It feels like it was two years ago. Um, in my whatever it was um it, it, it's too long ago either way so they just gave us a heads up that they were gonna switch off the servers unfortunately even though like the community was so fucking strong but um with all the changes they obviously made throughout the betas and i'm not sure if they really listened to the feedback of players which would also be a downside but that might be more improbable than midwinter um it's yeah they they, they brought a the pve mode they took it away there, there was lots of hints that there was actually a lot of story that was developed. There was a really good mix of ethnicities and backstories among uh, the heroes you played. I mean, the original main focus was, and getting the data points is research. So it had more of a scientific point of view than just, oh, let's go and murder everyone and whatnot. I remember Fog of Warner being very good and I never heard of any of uh, 
TYR community game events. Yeah, because that was only in the Discord. Um, so you had to, if, if I remember correctly, I might not. Um, you had to sign up in the Discord, I think, to get that as a role and to be, or it was just in specific channels. Um, I did probably four or five of those events, but we obviously we weren't allowed to stream them, I think. I might have some old footage of one of two. I don't know. Because, like, Xeno and me at the time also went out of... Which is went out and did, like, I think a 40-minute video about scavengers explaining it and promoting it on YouTube because I had their media pack as well. Um, generally super sweet. Also, the whole team on Discord was actually great. And But the problem is that, yeah, with time, uh, the lobbies just got smaller and smaller, which didn't really stop us. I mean, I definitely took, like, a one-month break at one point, uh, as far as I remember, but, like... You at least had always like 10 or 13, 14 people in the lobbies. And again, same as Apex and Bloodhunt, I definitely prefer where the teams are like three-man teams rather than five-man teams. Because three people when you can get together five, that's a stretch and nobody's ever going to agree on the strategy. <laughs> so I've never played any others. But yeah, no, I really fucking love that game. Because Synced, I also have been in Synced since the very, very early betas. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of it has changed. I thought they were going to improve it so much more. And... Uh, I played at Gamescom this summer as well, and I played it when it came out, and it just, eh, it just doesn't hit that spot. It doesn't hit that edge, and I'm kind of worried about going into Blood Hunt because, yeah, I've been away for a very long time from that as well. So I, I think I checked it out when the Venture came in, just a tiny bit, and that was that. Same with Apex, but yeah, um, I, I, I would love to go back into Apex. I mean, hopefully. The, all the stuff with work will wrap up in March. Um, I know that more or less for a fact now. So by the end of March, hopefully I, yeah. Oh yeah, because there's two weeks between this bullshit. Um, oh wait, I can actually literally calculate when my exam is going to be. Ha, huh, okay. I actually have a very, very, very good sense for it now. But yeah, I miss scavengers. I was sad to see it go, but I will admit it made me feel cold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was really good in that sense. Like. The way how you heard the footsteps of enemies, um, I was also not happy when they messed around with my camouflage on Kali as well, but nah, so be it. Um, seeing the footprints in the snow, just like how well spread everything was also for the PvE. If you knew your map, there was a good, there was like a good higher level of like getting up on buildings, on roofs, doing the jumping, this and that. So, um, but we also like it never because we had players like Yoshi and some others who came from shooting games who were fucking good at that already. Um, it was not impossible to beat them. And especially I fucking love the, okay, do we sneak on on the ship as the first team and then try to defend it? Or do we just lay low and then just make a fucking run for it in the last second? And I love the fact that you had to upload points um, for the data points that you had collected so you could just secure them but you still had to make it out live but dying and re being revived uh wasn't the biggest issue i don't know like the revive system and everything and like where the special loots were and the cars on top of that there was a lot of cool shit i know yeah i know i remember that we also had like meetups where we just messed around in the game um where with with one character's ability we kind of managed to like yeet the car god knows how far into the sky <laughs> There's somewhere footage of that. I, I'll have to see if I can find that again. VHS were similar cases of just not advertising, listening to community. Yeah, right, because I actually never really got around to doing VHS, so is that also kind of dead, or... I don't know. I also feel a friend of mine plays, I think, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is it? Which is kind of like DVD, but different. I think that it was a similar situation. Um, also, I should change the doc, actually. Hold on. Um, at least like change the game uh, to just chatting there we go I'm a half decent streamer remembering shit now it took so long to get used to setting all of this with the old I had to re Ugh. I had to change my audio and everything again but hey at least at least everything is working now uh -huh. yeah I can I can at least use these tiny little <laughs> emotes and whatnot I think my table is shaking too much, and that's why, uh, yeah, my avatar's eyes and whatnot sometimes looks a bit weird. Don't need customization for that. I'm gonna have a full year to play around with this, I think, with designing uh, better emotes and animations. It has some really weird dance animations. 
VHS could have been a really good alternative to DVD. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, that's what we were looking for because one thing we wanted, uh, similar to like what DVD was, that we wanted to be able to fight back. I will say though that from, no, it wasn't Nancy's, but I know with the uh, Resident Evil ones, at least stuff like flashbangs came in. And I've recently played a tiny bit with another friend who streams and um, the she showed me uh, like playing Alien because we did a custom game. So I actually really like the disc turrets that you can set up against the Alien. And I thought I would be fucking mortified of the Alien, but I'm like, no, this is the queen design. My darling, my love, my queen. Give me a hug. <laughs> so I'm actually quite happy with that. So I'm actually not really that scared of it. Uh, we had quite a few run-ins with Chucky, which is just weird, but yeah. No, and also, oh my God, because I was really, I was so looking forward to uh, the day before. And like, holy shit, I don't know if you guys know what happened with the day before, but like basically three or four days after game release, they dissolved the company. Because of course people bought it and there was basically nothing. It was supposed to be kind of like DayZ, but just like a million times better. And, uh, well, already seeing in the reviews, like, people like, oh, like, it's not really connecting to a lobby. And I'm like, why would it have a lobby if it would be that? Huh? Why? Why does that have a lobby? So, uh, apparently there was only one open space you can go into buildings. And very often people were just falling through the physics. Uh, so, <laughs> there's a lot of good comments of, like, the day before, a day before and a day after refund. <laughs> Uh, thankfully Steam refunded all of it, so if people didn't claim it, Steam was still refunding it because obviously the company was not going to do that. But, oh my fucking god. Um, what is it with, I mean, obviously BG3 came through with four or five years of good preparation, good voice acting, motion caption, everything, and delivering a game that doesn't have any fucking DLCs. Granted it has updates that can cause problems, but I think, in comparison, I call it day one glitches. <laughs> It's just, it's just sad. I was really looking forward to the game because I was like, oh, we gotta have like a nice new zombie survival because, I mean, I do love our Sons of the Forest and the Forest playthroughs, which is a bit more like raft meets uh, any zombie game. Seven Days to Die is like, yeah, yeah, it's okay, but it eventually gets very repetitive. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much, but we also played with Brick, who's a fucking genius at that game and just knew everything from the get-go, so we were just very lost at that. <laughs> oh, Brick is doing well. I talked to Brick a few times this year when I streamed, and Davashi is still going very hard with DBD. Maybe sometime during the holidays I'll try to uh, catch one of his streams and maybe hop in again. But yeah, um, as soon as all my work stuff uh, will... Calm down, I should be back. Well, I even, I st apparently I had like 36 streams this year, which is more than I presumed, especially with the, with the health issues, but yeah. Um, and this is, this is nice having the avatar, because I can just uh, not stress out about makeup, hair and whatnot. It's nice to have the option. Doesn't mean I'm never gonna do a cam stream again, but it's definitely nice having another option. And I'm still torn between doing this full on 3D webcam, calibrated version or just my non-webcam one which will always look straight ahead of the camera but things much much better with uh my mouth <laughs> as in like the talking is much much better you can pick your nose and we would never know <laughs> i yeah nah it would look weird see this is this is what happens when i touch my nose now you know <laughs> yeah it's not it's not it's not translating the laughter at all well Wait, wasn't there the animations? Oh god, because this hip hop dance, this no, this okay, shrug, the shrug, shrug looks a bit weird. That's, that's just a shrug, which my character's not even completely on. There's a lot of dances. Wait, what is this? Oh, disagree and agree? They're very basic. Yeah, and then there's like, there I see what the rumba looks like. Oh, actually, that's 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 pretty on point. Those are actually the arm movements for Umba. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have the. Uh, I don't think a tongue out will work on my character. I don't think we have that even. Okay, but this weird idols word. 
Explaining. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at all of that some other time. But yeah, it's so nice to have you two here, especially on the as per usual dumbass Aya uh, stream anniversary day. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to do the same for New Year's because I didn't know when my exams would be. So I obviously didn't plan shit for the Christmas holidays. So I'm just at home, relaxing, chilling, hoping that I can finally get rid of the skin condition. But yeah, no waves anytime. Uh, I always, I, I've been saying that for how many years now? But yeah, I would totally join for Apex. I will just need explanations. I, I played two games this year with another friend and... Like some of this stuff came back to me. I I hit people. So I wasn't doing too bad, but obviously um, I don't know jack shit about the maps, except the old school one. I plan to get very drunk on New Year's, so as it will be after 240. Yeah, you still have one. Uh, I don't know. Does it count then for, for, for like this year? Or like, is it the first or is it the 31st? Because if it's the 1st of January, I think it was the... Is it the 31st? Okay. Then you're still three years ahead of me. But they're coming. They're coming. They're creeping up. But actually, I'm not bothered by the 40s. It would just be 30s, round two. And maybe more body issues. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I just want to be done with all of this stupid exam shit and everything and just have time for my actual hobbies and spend time. I will be at Comic-Con in London in May. That's the one thing I've booked and uh, done, but I need to work on cosplays until then. I will go. That will be great. When are you two streaming? Otherwise, then other than that. Also, I'm a fucking idiot and I'm a terrible host because... Okay, let me see if I remember my shit. I probably don't. But for waves, yeah, nope, it's not that one that doesn't work. Because I, I remember that I made shortcuts. Don't even remember if they were slash or if they were exclamation mark. Ah, see, the dark wasp one works. Did I make yours maybe just wave? I need to, I would love to play Apex with you sometime. Yes, I would love to as well. I know I have one for you as well. I just need to <laughs> check my stream elements bot, I think. Yeah, we can totally do that. I mean, because, yeah, with one, with one, obviously, again, UK streamer friend, because apparently I don't have friends anywhere else. Um, playing DVD a few times, usually, usually when she streams, sorry, they stream. They, because all but they is preferred. Um, okay, no, you can screw. Uh, my custom commands. Because I know made it, uh, unless I, because I have Davashi, so I should have you in there, but they're not, ugh, they're not sorted by, no, I don't know, are they sorted now? I'm going to have to put it in otherwise if I don't see it, because I have some in here that I definitely don't need. Why do I still have a merch one? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's merch somewhere, oops. I'm just blind. I probably put it on the fucking dumb name. Dumb as in for me, obviously not from you. But yeah, I'll find it. Isn't there a command to see? I don't know. I'm free from Boxing Day till New Year's. Yeah, we can totally do something. I mean, we obviously still have each other also on Discord. Um, I mean, I don't know how Saki works. And I don't know if I can get Saki to play again. But even if we're just a two-man team with one random... I mean, that, that still works. I know Voss, my friend Voss Lotus, who is finally has moved to the Netherlands, also occasionally plays Apex, so maybe we can we can rope her into it. Uh, let's see. Because it should be that. Hmm. Wait, would it be that? I don't even know. Because I'm gonna find it or it's gonna tell me later that I have it somewhere. Let's see, that should work though. I will make it better, but I'm sure it's somewhere. See? I'm just gonna make it more personalized later. Uh, it was probably, but I, I'm, I know I migrated from Nightbot to another one at some point, so 
I know I lost definitely some of them. I still have... Oh, right. Yeah, no, that one we can deactivate. Oh, like so many wet ones. The following ones. Josephine's still in there. Wait, I had... Right, I forgot my own fucking commands because I had a loved one. Does that still work? I think it doesn't. <laughs> I know the loved one works. Apparently the loved one doesn't work anymore. Uh, pronoun. Oh yeah, that is the pronoun bot thing. I know I have deaf stuff. Skylar. They last played checkout. They last played... Oh, because I can I can do the shout out once. <laughs> Otherwise I'll fix it. I'm wondering if this one also works. Let me see. They lost played Overwatch. There we go. Yeah, okay. Because that is the one I can never remember. Even though I have that. But yeah, awesome. <laughs> so cookies. <laughs> Yeah, it works for everything. <laughs> they were joking. Okay. Yeah, I think that's because it's a it's a stream elements. Right, you you were fucking joking about cookies, right? And you didn't expect <laughs> something real to show up. <laughs> I mean, but to be fair, come on with that name. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know you. <laughs> but did you really think that nobody is taking that name? Oh god, I mean, hey, at least it's not pulling up clips from, you know, when I didn't read the TRS, so I can just do what the fuck I want. Oh look, everything is banned again under TRS because people were fucking around and they found out and the ones who obviously got the bans and whatnot were actual artists and not the people. I mean, I'm not even too bothered with people like who try to take advantage of it with their avatars, but like the amount of people who were like, well, we were able to do the bath water stream, so now we're gonna do this as well. Like, what? I wasn't thinking of it being a name. <laughs> Just thinking of food. I mean, cookies would be great. I do have, I do have the Christmas log still at home, uh, which is like a typical dessert. Um, I definitely still have that. I am going around to my parents' for lunch tomorrow, though, as uh, as promised. Um. But I did get them to agree to at least have Japanese food again. So I will be making katsudon again. Check <laughs> okay. What? Nobody has taken pizza? What? Ah, oh, that's a missed opportunity right there. I mean, we have we have D2, who is our candy man. Um, he actually should have changed his to candy man millions of years ago. Good man is still like, uh, I don't remember when you have so and so many channel points, he literally sends you a merch kit with the candy, which is so cool. But yeah, I think it's as lovely as it is to hang out. This, I, I love that we have like our little trio our streamer hangout. Um, and I'm glad I'm, I managed to wrap this game up. I'm actually, yeah, I apologize for anyone that watches the YouTube video later and ends up in all of this conversation. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's I'm I'm super sad because Kevin just had so much fucking potential. If, in my opinion, I said I think it's improbable that fucked up midwinter had a really fucking dope idea, and somewhere midway, improbable came in was like we're buying the shit and uh, it's ours now, and that fucked it up. Because I'm I'm pretty sure there were also switches in certain positions on the team, and I think that's what ruined it. So. I mean, but the whole coding, everything, the design, everything is out there. And I'm just hoping that maybe eventually somebody is going to decide to pick it up again. I mean, it is still in the Steam store. Um, I could literally hit play, but probably nothing will open. <laughs> or it will be like, oh, couldn't connect to servers. But it is still there because I literally left a review for it not too long ago. Because um, I was like, I miss this game. So... Um... Find it. Cause yeah, in the in the discussions in the community hub there's still Yeah, twenty first of December now somebody said return we need this game back and everyone's like yes there's so many comments. Is mine the word? I don't think mine is even in there. There's like three pages, there's forty one comments 
because we want this game back. And I agree. <laughs> it could have it it could have its own City of Heroes story. That's also the thing that pisses me off because we had the uh crash landing side of the Ark One. We knew this whole thing with mothers sending us out to get data points. We knew that the people we were gradually killing uh, somehow managed to survive this Ice Age kind of situation, but became corrupted with whatever viruses or the, oh god, I remember our Kodak bears as well, the camera bears. Oh, yeah, they were not fun. Yeah, at some point, at some point it got a bit ridiculous with like end of game bosses also that they put into it. We definitely didn't necessarily need that. Um, but so much of the map was so well designed from the pocket building to this fucking massive pit to uh, so much stuff and there was so many good ways to evade and jump and slide and glide and whatnot. I fucking, I fucking love this game. Um, what else did people say? We need this game back. This was better than Fortnite Apex and COD. <laughs> Something about this game I enjoyed. Yeah, because I think that's the thing. None of us can actually pinpoint it. I also never understood why they called it a sandbox shooter <laughs> in their media package, because I don't know how much... There's not that much that sandbox about it, but... Um... Oh, somebody's asking for four-player teams? Nah, thanks. No thanks. It was a really nice game. Developer she says, find a solution how you can earn enough money and we can play it. Yeah, like literally, we, we I, honestly, we'd probably literally like back a Kickstarter if that is all it took to get it back. But what I really need to find is another sponsor or somebody else who's gonna buy it. At the moment, unfortunately, this is the property of Improbable and they decided to pull the plug. Which I've sadly also seen with a UK board game design company who ran itself into the ground and was bought up and then they were like, Oh yeah, by the way, we're not going to fulfill these Kickstarters that they had going, uh, and so on. And we're gonna scrap this and this and this. Which is a shame. Um, I didn't get to play it much. Uh, yeah, for example, there's also another woman. Uh, again, also proportionately, there was so many more women playing this than any other shooter where I like looked at the demographic. Because again, we actually didn't get shit on in voice. People were actually just fucking normal or just got upset about gameplay basics, but I think very, very rarely there was any situation, at least for me, where I had shit thrown at me just for being a sounding female or whatever. Somebody is like, had 105 hours into the game. Somebody else checked. The guy who made the post, he's like, 980 hours. Um, I have 365.9 hours in the game. <laughs> So if it was DVD standard, I'd still be a noob, but I think that's still, <coughs> that's still very, uh, very good. Yeah, no, no, the block was pulled, I think, end of two, of 22. Yeah. So it's only been a year. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, that's horrible. That's so bad. I have already thought about that as my nieces get older. Yeah, I mean... Wait, recent reviews were mixed? Why were recent reviews mixed? 50% of the user reviews in the last 30 days are positive. Who the fuck voted this down when the game isn't even doesn't even exist? Wait, what do, what do people complain about? I mean, now that we're doing... Okay, somebody said sad. Well, I mean... Why did you post sad on the 4th of December? Why the fuck would you bring it down? You want to boost it. What the fuck? I do love the con- Yeah, somebody said, I do love the concept of the game. However, that being said, the current state makes it kind of hot garbage. Played in the close bit and the game felt a thousand times better than it does now. That is also what I said. The original version in the first betas was actually really fucking good. And it was so fun. They changed research progression to be such a needlessly huge gate too. Yeah, they did make that harder. Um, and I think that was kind of... Wow, okay, this person wrote, like, massive paragraphs. Um, I think they ran out of things that they could offer the players to do, which is also why they threw in PvE, which was pointless. Talents for your characters didn't need a research augment for each one like they do now. That's true. Uh, you can't even see what a talent after does unless you spend the resource and purchase. Yeah, right, because they were kind of hidden. Uh, that was shit, and also... Yeah, the fact you could all 
only have one active well before i think it was like it just progressed and it became better the sniper is required for every team i disagree the guns i think they got the balancing right but yeah there's like not recommend it was linear progression the more you play the better gear you will have i mean yeah new players are matched up against players with better gear than them no because you well you still needed to get all the stuff to build towards that to get better gear you have to win matches no not necessarily there were also dailies and other things so i disagree with that uh so yeah there's at least there's some recommended posts where people are like it was a fun game i miss it 2023 and i'm still sad it was kind of neat game neat game emo at least we were kind of fun to play one year and a bit and servers were shut down. Yeah, but then don't fucking downrate it. Like, it's not gonna come back if people downrate it, especially for somebody literally wrote scavenge my balls. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that one, that one, kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Um, my niece once asked me what this other player was doing in Minecraft. I looked and it was obvious teabagging. Aha! I just lied to her and said that other guy was just wiggling his butt. I mean, I mean. It's kind of true. Kind of. It's definitely kind of true. <laughs> um, okay, so because I pulled it up now on my main screen. So wait, it doesn't matter which side I'm looking for chat. It still looks weird. Um, and and tend blocked and then blocked that other player. Yeah, fair. But I mean, you can't save them from the patriarchy anyway. So yeah. And unfortunately, as long as society is like, oh, boys will be boys, and ha ha ha, he's just pulling your hair and destroying your shit and hitting you because he likes you kind of mentality. Um, the earlier they learn that, no offense to people present, but cis men are trash, um, the better. Because at this point, if sexuality was a choice, 99% of women would probably choose to be lesbians. <laughs> it's not even funny how much, how much is the boys with boys and parents should be parents smack to them boys. Yeah. Because this is how you get a lot of future rape cases. Because you let them get away with shitty behavior from a young age. But that, I mean, it's the same we've seen with, I mean, Waze also knows that with ADHD and autism because in women it doesn't get diagnosed until we self-diagnose when we're adults and then we still get told that it's not valid because we didn't shell out a shit ton of money for certifications i mean i'm fine either way because i know how to run my life thankfully but others are not that lucky mine is not not as strong in certain areas as i've seen it for other people but yeah um woo, but i've been digressing for half an hour <laughs> oh well <laughs> let me just see i'm probably being shouted at on discord because people are waiting for me but i know the friend that i'm supposed to meet up with um Okay, I'm finally logging in now. Okay, they're logging in now, so okay. We'll be there soon. But yeah, Apex is an idea. I mean, Doc, if you're interested, obviously you can join us as well for Apex. We could even make it like a triple stream, but I'm also totally fine playing and not necessarily having to be in stream. Because, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that screams and drops shit. <laughs> Waves is the one that gets all the kills in. And if we had Saki as well, Saki was fucking good at it because she got the most kills, the, the one or two times that we actually won. Which is funny because I remember I have a screenshot because we won on my birthday once. Um, she's very lethal, not sure if that's better. Uh, in the UK, we're good on that. They dismissed a lot of disability regarding if they're male or females. Yeah, remains to be seen, but oof, with everything else going on in the UK, ooh, I don't know how... How livable it is in general i just hear horror stories and obviously because a lot of my friends are lgbtq plus or trans it's like Ink. also oh god you both don't know that i finally managed to get my legal name changed to morgan uh which is more neutral here actually because it can it's usually more of a men's name than it is a women's name uh like derived from french uh but finally putting an end slowly one card at a time to the horrendous competition of misspelling my fucking name adoptive name uh that has existed for like my whole fucking life yeah it took it's just really weird because um i sent a procedure in and i had to send in a lot of like t testimonials from witnesses that i'm not just 
winging it, but that I have actually used that name for several years. And actually now everyone calls me Aya. I was half considering putting Aya in there as well. And then I was like, eh, okay, that's pushing it maybe a tiny bit. Because I actually would have sounded a bit weird um, in between. But yeah, so I just put Morgan, shoved the other name in the middle, got rid of the other middle names. I figured that's fair enough. I'm just changing like the first name and nothing else and using the middle ones. And uh, yeah, I'm getting my ID and my passport at the end of the week. And then I can request new driving license and then I can also send it into my banks so my banks can start the process of sending me new cards. It's probably good that somebody takes my visa card away for a week. <laughs> I spend a lot of friends actually this month. Not on myself but definitely on friends. But yeah, um, on that note, yeah, I should really head off. <laughs> I've been saying that like five times. But yeah, uh, do let us know. I mean, the, the Discord server still exists. I don't know if you're still in there, but DMs also work. Um, Ayashi Sama is still my Discord name. And we can, yeah, we can totally see if we do something together. But on that note, I'm gonna whiz off now. Fuck, did that come from? Oh, well. Yeah, I'm gonna get. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a whole ass list. I was going to teach my students about hot money, but unfortunately the text that we have is uh, it's a bit too dry. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll try to talk about it in January though, because I love teaching about like uh, New Year's resolutions and New Year's traditions in uh, all different words of countries. I think if I remember correctly, it's Brazil where you buy underwear in the color of the thing that you wish for. So red was obviously love and I think yellow was obviously money. It was very basic, but... That is a whole ass business for New Year's there, or in some South American countries, but I think it was Brazil was one of them. Um, so lots and lots of things, but hot money is still fucking fantastic, but yeah. See, I also taught my students about Kwanzaa, but Kwanzaa is only a thing in America, per se, and a lot of my students are like Eritrean or from other places, so I'm like, I don't know, scientific Newtonness, I love that. So if you don't wear underwear, do you get invisible gifts? Very good question. I've been pondering that as well. Uh, Ooh. Oh, Saturnalia. Yes, indeed. All thumb. That's a really good list. I've basically just defaulted to have, get some rest or have some restful days and some delicious food because we can all agree on that. But yeah, valid question. But before we, we spiral <laughs> into something else, um, I'm going to go. If I catch you guys online, I'm most likely uh, lurking in your streams. But I'm, I'm there if I see it. So you have yourselves a good night and we'll be in contact. Because, yeah, my holidays actually start now. I'm still two weeks off. I'm going back on the 8th of January. So I hope we find some time to do some things. But yeah. So bye-bye and thanks for stopping by.